Good morning. Um, I just wanted to come with a quick message. Spirit, speak through me. I pulled some overall energy for the collective and the overall energy of the collective is the five of wands. The five of wands could be struggle. It could be rivalry. It could be self-doubt. It could be the point where you need to set boundaries with these people and you haven't. And it's causing you to have to, you're fighting with these people or you're fighting with yourself. But whatever it is, somebody is struggling to just keep their balance. They're struggling to pay bills and feed the kids and be a wife and be a girlfriend and be a friend to the friends and be what they need for themselves. And right now, it's just the time to set boundaries with people. No, I cannot. I'm sorry. No, not today. I don't care if you're sitting in the house and you're not doing anything, but you told yourself this morning, you know what? I'm going to rest today. But somebody called you and they need you. Rest. Choosing yourself. Setting, setting boundaries with people, places, things. Okay, I'm smoking too much. I'm spending too much money over here. I'm spending too much money over here. It's time. Yeah, I'm, I'm just listening to the music in the background because sometimes spirit will move through the music. And she was saying that I just need somebody to save me. But you're going to have to save yourself right now. Clarify with the Knight of Wands. The Five of Wands was clarified by the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is escape from difficulty. It's letting us know that change is in the air. Swift action. Ambitious. You could be changing jobs. Uh, the Knight of Wands symbolizes movement, fast movement, quick movement, a journey. It may be time to change jobs. You could be looking at it, well, I've been on this job for 10 years, five years, but you're not happy there. You wake up every morning wishing you hit the lottery so you don't have to go to this job. You're not happy here. And it's only a matter of time that you can keep fighting this before the tower comes. Because the tower is inevitable. There will be a tower moment. You cannot stop this. Because clearly God said is saying right now, there is a need for change. You cannot keep going like this in this five of wands energy. You're ready to do something else. 313 on my clock. You're ready. You are, but you limit yourself. You're limiting yourself. You need to set boundaries, prioritize. Now it's time to start to take action on the things that you are, 333, it's time to take action on the things that you already know that you're supposed to be doing anyway. This message should only be confirmation. You know exactly the goal that you wanna reach. You know what you wanna do. Clarified by the fool. The fool is a carefree attitude. You got to let this stress go. Okay. Rent due on the first. Okay. And it'll get done. Do not continue to worry yourself about things that you cannot change. You worry about what you can change. And get yourself into this carefree attitude. It's a fresh start. It's time for change. A new phase of life. Unexpected opportunities happen. Y'all look this up. The fool. The fool. Making better decisions. Clearly. Making better decisions. Putting people in your energy that are actually going to help you and not hinder you. Are you hearing me? The fool. The five of wands also clarified by the two of wands. The two of wands is opportunity. Off to a good start. Early stages of an enterprise. Somebody is considering a new business, 
a new venture, a new idea, going back to school. Social media influencer. I don't know, I'm seeing the, the cell phone in her hand. She's giving me social media. So, some type of social media influencer. You could be feeling restless right now. But you see, the two of wands is clarified by the justice. The scales will be balanced. Somebody could be waiting on um, something dealing with the court system. It will be balanced. You know if you're on the right, you know what side of karma that you're on. You know what side of karma that you're on. Justice will be served. It's the inevitable. And I'm going to say this. When I pull these cards, it was something that I had forgot to do before I pulled the cards. So I started all the way back over and got the same energy, which lets me know that this is the inevitable. If you have not been through a tower moment yet, it is coming. And tower moments are not always bad. But it can be hurtful because we lose people along the way. Everybody's not going to be able to withstand this collapse. Everybody's not going to be able to understand your change. They're not. You got people jump. You see him? He jumping out the building. Jumping out the building. The chick right here, I don't know if y'all can see her. Let me let it focus. She dead. She gone. She didn't survive the tower. It's going to be some of us, we may, some may lose people. On this physical plane, you may lose people. During all of this change, it's like you moving up the ladder, but you losing people. The tower moment, you cannot stop it. All you can do is prepare. God is getting ready to spin the block for his people. And if you're not on the block, you still in this tower, you're going to miss it. But it's once this tower comes, then it's going to be time to make choices. Clearly. Seven of Cups. She's getting ready to make a change. She's getting ready to make a choice. Excuse me. She's getting ready to make a choice. All these cups look the same. But it's an illusion. You got to ask God for discernment. What is this? Excuse me. Anytime, any place by Janet Jackson. Sorry, I'm a child. But yes, the tower moment is the inevitable. But the beautiful thing about tower moments is that after this tower moment, God will, will give us choices because we have the option to choose. But you have to have discernment because... All these cups look the same, but they're not the same. You got toxic, somebody toxic. You got a snake. Huh? Got a heart in one. Love. You got riches, money, diamonds, pearls. What do you want? What do you want moving forward? Energy. At the bottom of the deck, the eight of wands. This is coming fast. And you're already ready. You're ready. Stop second guessing yourself. Bruh, I didn't even realize that was still right. Trust. Thank you, spirit. It's time, y'all. It's time. It's time to move forward. We don't have time. This 2022. We don't have time to constantly keep fighting with people. You don't see the vision? Cool. I'm going to just go my way. It's one thing to be friends with somebody 5, 10, 20 years. But are y'all growing together or are y'all trauma bonding? Y'all just have certain things that y'all have in common. Y'all both like to smoke weed, so y'all call each other friends. Y'all both got two, three babies, so y'all call each other friends. If we not growing, we not nothing. If we're not growing, we ain't shit. If we not being consistent, we're nothing. I don't care that you mama, daddy. So I don't care. You got to be growing. You have to be growing. Because karma is here now. 
So whatever you have been doing, it will show. If you've been giving to others, if you've been extending yourself to others when you know you did not have to, justice is here. A lot of us have just been waiting like God. I've been doing this and that. I've been doing everything right. Why? Why? I see everybody else winning. I see everybody else getting blessed. And that's the first that's the first hiccup. Because when you see other people being blessed, you need to know that he's on the block. That's letting you know. That's just confirmation he on the block. Huh? You know when the weed man on the block, but you don't know when God on the block. I'm lost. It is time for change. It's time for people to accept change. Everything is changing. Nothing will ever be the same, period. It will not. I hear the garbage man outside. It's time to take out the trash. 3.13 on my clock. Don't play. <laughs> okay. Yes. It's time to take the trash out. Let that shit go. It's time to let everything go that no longer serves you. You've been doing the same thing for five years. The shit still ain't working. It's time to try something new. Around the same people doing the same shit. Every year they say they're going to do this and do that. It's a, a whole new year that came around. You still ain't done shit. You still don't see no change. It's time to change who you're around. It's time to change your environment. And it's time to know that I don't care what environment you in. That does not define you. I stayed in Kingsgate Apartments in a one-bedroom with me, my mama, my sister, and my newborn son. Look up Kingsgate if you don't know where that is, but that's in Memphis. Very dangerous area. Mill Branch. They call it Kill Branch. But that did not define me. Start understanding that I don't give a damn where you live. I don't give a fuck if you're in the projects. I don't care if you homeless. I don't care if you're staying on and living on somebody's couch. It does not matter. Even when we were in that one bedroom, I knew I had a purpose. And every day that I woke up, I put that shit on. And I walked up out the house and did my thing. That's just where I laid my head. That's it. That does not define me. That does not define you. Hmm. It's time. Let's make this change. Don't wait for this tower to come to start trying to change because it's going to be too late. Pray now and ask God for discernment. God, give me discernment so I can know who is for me and who is not. God, reveal things to me in my dreams so I can see who is for me and who is not. I promise you, he will do that shit. He will do it. I'm not telling you nothing that I don't know. I'm not telling you nothing that I haven't done or tried. He will do it. God will show you what you need to see. We all have these spiritual gifts. It's not just me, but I'm here to wake up the masses. I'm here to wake up my people. If you went to school with me, you about to learn today. It's time to forgive people and move forward. You have to understand that people are going through things that you have no clue about. Take people for what they are and leave it. Yeah, you hurt me. Yeah, you a person, you, they did this, they did that. Whatever it may be for you, that's okay. Forgive them and move forward for you. If they don't never come back and say, I'm sorry, I apologize for hurting your feelings. I apologize for leaving you when you needed me the most. If they don't never come back and say it, forgive them for you so you can move forward because it's only hindering you. God bless